Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a pineapple to make a pineapple boat for your tropical salad. I'm Marlene and welcome to my home and garden channel. So I'm going to be going through step by step to show you exactly how I did it. So keep watching and you'll see how you can make a wonderful salad for your tropical spread. So guys, we're going to be making it Jamaican style and these are the items that we're going to be using. I'm going to just go through them one by one. So here we have a shredding type knife and it needs to be fairly sharp. And please be careful with the knife guys, we don't want anybody to get hurt. And these are some paring knives right here, you can use whichever type you like. Just make sure it's small enough so that you can get a good handle on it. You need to have a large spoon for scooping and a small one as well too. And here you can see that I have my um, my towel, kitchen towel. And I thought it was so cute. I did have the pineapple on there. I got it from the dollar store. So that was definitely a good buy. And of course, our pineapple. And this one, it's, it's fairly ripe. Make sure it has a nice um, crown at the top. So that way it will be pretty for display. Because some of them can be, you know, kind of dried out sometimes. So check on that first to make sure it looks good. And of course, if you can smell your pineapple and you know that it's ready. And here I have my Rose of Sharon from my garden. So beautiful. I can't get hibiscus though. This is what I have here. And you need to have your um, large cutting board that's very sturdy because you need that when you're going to go ahead and work on the pineapple. And of course you need to have a large platter. I just love this one. It has very nice patterns around the, um, the edges. Just give it that extra special touch. And I have some, um, some black grapes right here. These are so sweet and so juicy. I have some strawberries and I also have some watermelon. And you also need to have some kind of a bowl to put the, um, the core and the pulp that you're going to take out of the pineapple. All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and get started and I'll walk you through step by step. So you'll want to get your pineapple washed and dried. I use a paper towel just to pat dry it. And then we're going to go ahead and place it on the kitchen towel to make sure that it doesn't slip. That's the most important thing to start because it's hard You're using a sharp knife. So you want to make sure that you line it up correctly and that, you know, it is pretty stable there. And then you just go on and then you start slicing. And if it's slightly off, you know, the center, that's okay. You just need to have two halves as long as you have enough of the crown on the top, then you'll pretty much be okay. It's not a perfect science. Just make sure the pineapple is not too, too ripe because then the pulp might be a little too soft, you know, to look really nice for your presentation. So there we have our two halves, guys. Ready to get started and to go on to the next step. So next we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and get the paring knife. And we're just gonna maybe say about between a quarter to a half of an inch from the edge. We're gonna just gonna go in and start cutting close to the edge and try to curve the sides a little bit to keep up with the shape of the pineapple. And honestly, it's better for you to cut it not deep enough at first and then go back in and make your corrections and to go in too deep with the knife and then you cut right through and it just makes a mess. So, you know, definitely bear that in mind, guys. And you just, you know, turn the knife the opposite direction and just go on the other side. And just gently work your way around. And just take as much time as you need. There's no rush. And then we go in and we cut alongside the core because the core is pretty, you know, pretty firm. And so you want to make sure that you separate that from the rest of the pulp. So just go in and cut right alongside of it. And then go ahead and make your um, cross cuts. And be sure to stay inside the lines from the edges. And once you've done a couple of those, you get the smaller spoon and you go in and you start taking out the individual pieces. And these, of course, are going to use those as a part of our fruit salad. So you want to try to keep them as neat as possible when you're taking them out. And by the way, guys, if you want to see more of my home and garden topics, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell. So you can see all of them. They can be suggested to you and you can decide which ones you want to watch. You can go back and watch past ones as well, too. So if you do that, then you definitely have a chance to see what I, you know, what else is in store. So we're almost finished with that, guys. 
So then because the core is a little firmer, you know, you have to treat it a little separately. So I got the knife and I went in and just slightly ease it in under the bottom there and just be careful with the knife once again. And then once you've done that, it's pretty easy to come out. We'll just go in and scoot them out and the core will save that for a little bit later and I'll tell you, you know, what else you can use it um, to do. So now we're going to go in and start, you know, just cleaning it up a little bit. There is a fair amount of juice in there as well, too. You don't want to have your food swimming around in it. So you have to go in and scoop that out. And guys, I'm telling you, it smells so good. I wish you could smell this. You just, you know, neaten up the little corners a little bit and little spots you see that need to, you know, be taken out. You just go in and, you know, work your way around and get all of that out. So we are definitely looking good so far. And I'd love to see your comments if you think you're going to try doing this and if you think it has been easy so far. All right, so our little pineapple boat is ready for us there. We just need to start arranging our fruits inside. And I just love how the leaf looks. I just think it just gives it that extra special touch. There are a few people who will take it off. I've seen people do that, but I just think that the leaf does something to it. It just makes it just, you know, look so tropical and just helps those nice colors to come into play. So now I'm basically arranging my fruits in there. And basically you just want to put them in a way that basically holds their spots. You don't have to fill it in at the start because you don't want them tumbling over. And you know, just kind of like getting one on top of the other, you know, as far as the colors go. So just kind of line them off a little bit. So you know, you know what goes where and how much of each thing you're going to be using. So we're just getting them in there. And of course, you know, you're definitely welcome to use different types of fruits. You can put mangoes in, you know, whether that's a different color scheme coming there. Or, you know, instead of the, the grapes, you can even maybe use blueberries if you have those. If you're trying to get the colors for Jamaica, then you can just use, the, you know, something that's dark like grapes, the yellow of the pineapple, and you can use the green of maybe some kiwi or some other fruit that you can think of. So you have the green, gold, and the black. And I just wanted to take a moment to say if you are from Jamaica like I am and you're watching this around the birthday time for Jamaica, happy birthday, Jamaica. You are no longer in the 50s. You're going to the 60s. And that is so exciting. So I hope that this, you know, will help you as a part of your celebration. If you wanted to make it one of your little get togethers, then this is definitely a perfect idea. And this comes up every year anyway, you know, around that time of year so. It's always good to just go back and, you know, use something that you thought was really good and that would really work for the occasion. So now we're just basically placing them and, you know, getting them to be, you know, some have a little height. So it can have that extra pop to it. And I guess there are other, you know, fruits that you could use as well, too, that, that would be red. Strawberries are not exactly the first thing that comes to mind as being tropical, but, you know, I just couldn't resist. I thought it would have been perfect to mix it with a watermelon and it works out really well. And you don't want to have too, too many colors in either because then you kind of like it detracts a little bit from what you're doing. So definitely bear that in mind as well. So we are almost there, guys. So tell me what you think. And now as far as the pulp and the core goes, you can just blend those out, you know, in your blender. You can add some lemons or limes to it, you know, maybe some ginger and make a nice drink. And now guys, here it is. I've arranged it with a pineapple. And tell me what you think. I just like how they, um, come together there and of course you can see that I put my um, Rose of Sharon there and it's the same family as the um, the Blumaho which is the national tree of Jamaica it's the same family as a hibiscus so I thought that fit in really nicely there just looking very tropical to me it just smells so good in here I'm very very pleased with it
And so we have an upcoming um, open collaboration. It's actually a tropical getaway collaboration. And it's going to be hosted by my channel, Marlene's How To's. It's going to be co-hosted by Deborah Cabasa, Home Living, Penny's Lifestyle Living, Tamika Rosero, and the Johnson Home Decor. So be sure to check us out, guys. For participants, you'll want to make sure that you use Bright Tropical Colors. Use the hashtag Bright Tropicals 22. We subscribe to the host and co-host channels and upload at the time that is listed there, 6 p.m. Eastern time, and you'll be added to the playlist. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for my returning subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so to be a part of this. Hope you'll have a wonderful day.